Welcome to Smacky's Garage, where today we're gonna to be talking all about relays. We're gonna talk about how they work and how to wire up a, both a four pin and a five pin relay. If you're not familiar with relays, they're really a simple device. A relay is essentially an electronically operated switch. There's a set of inputs on here, this specific one's controlled by 12 volts, where you have an input of 12 volts and when you put power to it, there's gonna be a single set of outputs or multiple sets of outputs that are gonna either turn on or off. Relays are pretty much found in all new vehicles and you'll find them in some classic vehicles too. All the vehicles that I have here have a relay in it operating one circuit or another. Where you really find relays like this is in places where you wanna isolate the load from the switching circuit that you have. And I have some good examples of that on both the cars here. So on this fuse block from the Factory 5 GTM, this is actually a fuse block from a Corvette. And you can see the relay right here that I'm pointing to. This is actually for the fuel pump. Now, the reason why there's a relay in the fuel pump is it really wants to isolate the sensitive electronics from the computer. So the computer will send a signal to this relay to operate it. And then the battery voltage will go through the relay and it'll go to the fuel pump. You don't wanna end up sending the full battery voltage high amperage through this computer because it could damage something. There's a lot of sensitive electronics in here. By running this relay, you get to isolate a lot of the sensitive electronics and have it through a completely different circuit. Now on the 1969 Mustang, I was running the halogen headlights through the relays. Now, originally the car came with the full electrical circuit for the headlights running through the switch in the interior of the car. And what would typically happen is as that switch ages, you know, you get a lot of voltage drop across it. The resistance goes up. And that essentially means you're not gonna see a full 12 volts at the headlights. Now by using the relay and wiring it in the circuit, you can actually use that headlight switch to turn on the relay and then have the power from the headlights come directly from the battery. And that's what's gonna power the headlights and make sure they have a full 12 volts. When I did this on my 1969 Mustang, the headlights were significantly brighter than they have been in the past. So it's a really good way to make sure that you have a full 12 volts going to a source that you're trying to run. I see people also using them on electronic chokes on cars because they wanna make sure they're getting a full 12 volts so that it opens all the way. So that's another good place to use it. What we're gonna look at today is we're actually gonna power up and use two different sets of relays. We're gonna look at one four pin relay then we're gonna look at one five pin relay. We're gonna show the difference by operating a set of LEDs off of the relay itself. So we're gonna run 12 volts to both we're gonna put a switch in line and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. And we'll go through exactly how to wire up both a four pin and five pin relay. So let's start wiring this up. Now this here is a 12 volt, 40 amp relay. Most of them you'll see will have the diagram on the side that I'll show exactly how to wire it up. On this side, you have the 12 volt side, which is the side that you're powering up. So I'm gonna be putting in 12 volts through the 86 and grounding 85. On this side, 30 and 87 is the circuit that I'm controlling. So when I add power here, 12 volts on, these, this switch here will operate and close. Now you can also see that the pins are marked on the bottom of the relay itself. So you know exactly where everything's going. So this relay here I bought off Amazon. I'll link it in the description below if anyone wants to grab it as we show how they work. Now this other relay is kind of hard to see, but you can see this is actually a five pin relay. So there's gonna be five wires coming off of it. You can see the circuit here, you still have that same power circuit with 86 and 85 on the left-hand side. From that 30 input, you also have two outputs. You have an 87A and then an 87. I'm gonna demonstrate exactly how this works while we wire this up to power some lights up. So first, let's go ahead and wire up this four pin relay to the power and we're gonna power an LED light off of it. Here we have the single pole, single throw relay that we're gonna be wiring up. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wire it up and we're gonna show that it functions. Now I have a 12 volt or 13.8 volt 10 amp supply here, which is wired into this switch, which this switch is gonna control this relay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna to test to make sure this relay works by wiring it up correctly. So I'm gonna add this wire to the 86 pin here. Then I'm gonna add a negative wire from the power supply to the other side, which will be the 85. Now, if this works correctly, 
When I turn the switch on, you should hear the relay click. So not only can you hear the relay click, but also you can feel the relay click. So you know this relay is working. So now that this relay is working, I need to add power to the other side. So this 30 right here is gonna take uh, the 12 volts from this power supply, and it's gonna pass through this switch out the 87. So now I have this other line here, which is gonna go into 30, which is right here. And then I'm going to pass that through the other side to 87, so that switch. So we're going to wire it directly up to this light. Now, in order for this to work, we have to have this light grounded. So I'm going to run this wire over to the negative side of this power supply. Okay, now that I'm all wired up, we're going to see I have two separate lines here. I have the lines that are running the relay, and then I have the power line coming to here. So it's coming through different areas. So when I turn this switch on now, you'll notice the light turns on. So looking at these, this wiring here, a mess as it might be, all the power for this light is running directly through this relay, through 30 and out 87, and it is not running through this switch. So that way, no matter what, if this switch has a higher resistance on it, it won't have any effect here. This also allows you to use a much lighter switch over here to run high amperage products like halogen lights, fans, etc. So now we're gonna look at what happens when we do a single pole double through a relay, one that has an extra pin on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change the wiring from here to here, and then we're gonna connect the one extra wire for it. So on this, the pins are the same, except you have an 87A directly in the middle. Now that this one's fully wired up, I'm only missing that 87A in the center. So I'm gonna turn it on, we're gonna check the operation, and you'll see that it's operating the same as the single pole, single throw relay right now. So you're gonna see that it's operating the same as the other relay, but it still has that output. You can hear it clicking, but it is not, the other output is not being used. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wire up that other output. Now I'm running this other wire output to here. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna to go to the positive side on this light. So for now, I'm just gonna twist these two together. And for this demonstration, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna combine the two grounds from this light to this light. Now I'm completely wired up. This relay, it's the five pin one with the 87A. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn it on. Now the first thing you notice is the other light turned on. So 87A turned on. Now if I go ahead and flip the switch, the other light turned on. So this relay is actually switching between 87 and 87A. When you have it off, this one is on. When you have it on, 87 turns on. So this relay is a single pole double throw relay. I'll also put the diagram of how it's wired up here so you can see it on the screen. Now this is a simple relay that I'll also link below and it comes with this waterproof connector here so you can wire it without having to worry about the terminals. Now the place where you want to use a relay like this is when you have two independent systems where you never want them to be operating at the same time. It's used a lot in controls. You also see it on used for some motors. Now that's as easy as it is to hook up relays and to run some simple circuits. Thank you for tuning in this week to Smacky's Garage. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I'll see you next time.